You thinking about Gary again? Oddly enough, I am. Please say more. Actually, Gary and I had a surprisingly enlightening conversation prior to your arrival. That is surprising. What did you talk about? He made me realize that I've been using your totem as an excuse not to take the next step. I see. We are having that talk. All right, listen. Now, we don't have to have it. We've had a really good few days, and I don't want to ruin it. No, we, we, we are always great together. It's being apart that makes it hard. I know. I know a way for us to be together, and it's, it's this place. Like here? Like John's, John's pocket manor dimension? Uh-huh. Our problem is that you and others are can't coexist without Bayrod's head exploding. Okay, but in this dimension, time and space doesn't exist. We don't have to worry about that. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You seem stunned. I am. Uh, we can finally live together. Right? It's a win. It's a win. Mm -hmm. Really? A fist bump? It's bigger than a... I got jokes. You got jokes. But on a serious note, I got a surprise for you. Another one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I saved you a bear claw. Who loves you? Cheryl. <laughs> I'm trained to read people. And that was a fine acting performance. Shut up, Hoover. I wasn't acting. There you go again. You might get your lies past him, but not me. 